Hi guys, it's Daniel from well YouTube, Facebook, Google Plus, well whatever. No, uh, so I'm here to well another doing another tutorial, just like one of my previous ones. Uh, this tutorial is where I show you how I took the picture that I titled Fly Paper. It was actually a blog post. If you liked plus one and commented, I really appreciate that. And also thanks for reading my blog. I appreciate that as well. Um, if you haven't seen the picture, it should be here somewhere right now. Yeah, I guess. Also, if you haven't read the blog post, I'll put be putting the link in the description so you can. So, what equipment did I use? I used a camera, obviously. Um, the camera I'm using right now is a Canon PowerShot SX50 HS. Of course, a tripod. If you don't have one, don't bother. You can set up your camera on a steady surface, a chair, a table, anything that will move. Um, and I used a book for obvious reasons. I used a stool to keep the book on. Uh, and uh, I'll be showing you the setup and going into details later on. I also used this, which is a mini mini mag light. If you don't know what it looks like, I think you can get it on Amazon. Search for it. I would recommend you get it because it's very very useful, especially for light painting. But I'm not here to promote a product, so let's get on with it. I'll show you my setup and then. I'll show you how I took the shot. Alright, so first the camera, as I mentioned, this is the Canon PowerShot SX50, which is mentioned right here. And, uh, well, of course, for this shot, you're basically only going to be using. Uh, great, come on, focus. And you're going to be using manual mode. This, yep, there you go, it's focused. Manual mode, that is the little M there. Usually your camera is on auto, I guess. Well, of course switch it to manual because you're going to be using that now for my settings what I'm going to be using is a shutter speed of 4 seconds that's that over there uh, 4 seconds my aperture I'm going to be fiddling around with that later on now as I mentioned in one of my previous tutorials you can't change the ISO in this camera once you cross shutter speeds of um, 1 second so it's going to be stuck at 80 Okay, before we proceed, I'm going to tell you my room is messy, so don't bother commenting and telling me it is messy because I know it is. Uh, just ignore the mess. That's what a room looks like when it's lived in. So anyway, there's the book and um, as you can see, there's a stool there. There's also another thing I've kept, which is a um, board down there, a clipboard, so that uh, the book is flat. Well, it's not really flat. I couldn't find a long enough board, but... Um, if you can find a long enough stool, that would be even better, or a surface you can keep it on a table, that would be the best. Actually, I can't find a table because of my lighting setup, so uh, this is my best option. As I say, you have to improvise if you don't have the best option. Go for the second best, improvise, try to make the best of what you got. Alright, for now for the lighting. Uh, I am going to be using this mag light. No, it's not dangling in the air. I don't. I'm not a sorcerer of any sort. Uh, I have tied this uh, to a thread, which is going up, 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 up there, and there. Uh, that's where I've tied the thread so that the light doesn't fall off. Now, for the mag light. Oh, by the way, those pictures look cool, don't they? Even those. Yeah, you can always buy those prints if you want. Just let me know. Alright, so I've turned off the lights in my room, which is why it's so dark. Um, the only adjustment I've made to my settings is that I've changed my white balance to tungsten, so as to get a nice white effect. I mean, because the mag light uh, has a yellowish light, so... Um, oh, hang on, I have my display. Sorry about that. Okay, so if you're shooting in RAW, don't bother about the white balance. You can always change that later on. And uh, the book is obviously there. Uh, the, about the book, one more thing I need to tell you. Two more things I need to tell you. The bigger the book, that means the thicker the book, the better, because you get more pages to turn. And um, the heavier the book, the better, because then it won't move and you'll get a more steady um, shot. And the pages that are moving will only be out of focus. Also, uh, if you have a hardcover book, go with that i would recommend you use a hardcover book rather than a soft cover book that i'm using here all right i'm sorry if you can't see me or you can't really see what i'm doing uh 
but we have to work in darkness also I've also set my camera to self timer also yes manual focus is very very important because you don't want your camera fo focusing on the wrong thing so focus first and switch it to manual if you don't know how of course I've uh, showed you how to do that in one of my previous videos I think it was the light painting tutorial check that out as well uh, anyway let's get on with it so what you want to do is you want to take quite a few pages in one hand and uh, now we're gonna just take the shot right and then just flick the pages just like that there we go just just keep moving remember Dory from Finding Nemo just keep swimming just keep moving is what you got to do here so that shot actually looks pretty good but I'm just gonna repeat it one more time just so that you see what I'm doing again properly right again let me repeat the camera I've set the shutter speed to four seconds aperture to 3.5 which is I think the lowest this one goes white balance is set to tungsten I can't change my ISO so it's set to 80 and um, obviously the book so I've taken quite a uh, healthy amount of pages in my hand and I'm going to just flick the pages right so let's go again oopsie ah that's what happens when you're not really careful so as you noticed I was constantly moving my hand uh, you have to keep moving your hand because if you don't then you will get a really sharp hand in the picture which is not what you really want you want your hand to come really soft picture i think it should be up on the screen right now um, i'm gonna show you how to post process that photograph and uh, how to correct uh, it so that it looks really really cool i'm actually pretty happy with the way the paper turned out this is pretty good it's got a nice circular shape to it which is the look I was going for now the thing is that I you can actually leave it like this but I want a completely black background so there are two ways you can do that one is by using your um, burn tool which is this one over here or you can make a selection around the book using your pen tool and um, that is the one I'm going to do so I'm going to duplicate this layer by going here I would recommend you duplicate your layers because if you make any mistakes you can always revert back to the original and um, now I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to drag this one down in between the two layers I'm going to go to I'm going to go to edit fill this one with my background color that is black then see so if I hide the top layer you can see that the background layer is completely black then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, make a selection around uh, the book now that might take a little bit of time so I'm going to just going to skip that part all right so I've made a pretty rough selection I'm just doing this fast I'm not going to do a perfect job here but you can take a time and make a proper selection um, now sorry this is just on the path now I'm going to right click and make selection feathered by one pixel that should be just fine also add a layer mask so I'm going to go to select and inverse so it's inverse the selection and now I go to edit go to fill and go to well, now it's foreground color and hit ok so there you have it it's uh, black now now you can deselect it by hitting Control and D on your keyboard at the same time it still needs a little bit of adjustment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my brush tool again a uh, nice soft brush as you can see its hardness is zero and uh, um, I'm gonna uh, paint it with black be sure to select the layer mask don't select the layer itself otherwise you'll be destroying the layer um, by painting it in black so I've selected the layer mask now and I'm just painting it in black and uh, there you go I'm just going to refine this one here uh, and I zoomed in pressing the control key and the plus key on the keyboard now I'm going to switch the hand tool using the space bar and dragging now I'm going to reduce my brush size using the bracket keys 
and again paint all of that. You need to be careful here so that you don't paint on the book. Right now that is pretty good in itself but I think it needs a little bit more because this hand, you can see the hand, you can see the brown color of the hand of arm. Yeah. Um, I need to get rid of that. We need to make that blend in with this. Now the way, the only way you can do that is by using an adjustment layer. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to hide my background layer. That is this one. And I'm just going to keep this one. I'm going to make a duplicate of it again by dragging it down there as you just saw. So I'm going to use an adjustment layer. Click that and click hue and or saturation. So what I'm going to do is, well it's default and master so I'm going to decrease the saturation down. Now the thing you have to remember is don't bother about the rest of the image, just bother about this little part over here because that is the one that we need to edit. The rest of it is just fine. So I'm going to drop the saturation down to about that much, change the hue, make it a little blue, um, not that, that should be fine, and um, yeah, I think that should be okay, now I'm going to go to reds, because, okay, drop the saturation, and this, this time I'm concentrating on this particular area over here. That's probably okay, I guess. Mm. Hang on. Yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to merge it down. I'm going to bring this layer up and add a layer mask. And then just paint it in. There you go. That looks good already. Actually, that's just about okay. That's not bad at all. Black and white's fine. You can actually convert the entire thing to black and white after that. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you were able to learn something from this tutorial. As always, um, if you have any questions or comments, or if you have suggestions as well, whereby I can make my tutorials better, my posts better on my blog, do leave a comment or get in touch with me on Facebook, Google+, Plus, any website basically where I am and I'll get back to you and I will try and integrate those into my future posts, future videos, future tut tutorials. If you want a tutorial for anything, do let me know and I will try and create one. Um, also, I hope you learned how to create the original image and then take that and make it better. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, if this was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe and come back for more. Have a nice day and take care.